new game. Let's see what we got here. New game. Yes. Midnight, midnight. And there it is. <laughs> this, this dev has a type. Okay, but really? It makes sense. First, you replace a single plank on the ship. Oh, God, it's the ship of Theseus! It's the ship of Theseus! <laughs> Place a single plank on the ship, then another. And keep going until everything has been replaced and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop being the ship of Theseus? What? Wait, what? 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 A fucking big titty cockroach! <laughs> I was drinking when that appeared. Oh my god! Oh god, we're Ruth! <laughs> and this is how Cola died. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all that? <laughs> Ruth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. We metamorphosis now. <laughs> Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't... I think we're getting off track here. Oh! Hold on, my phone's going off. Wait, what is she? What is she? What? Look at her fucking hand! I thought she was human! <laughs> oh god! I think I think you're right. I think she's a harpy. <laughs> Just the nail job. Oh my god. This dev has a very specific fetish. And you know what? More power to him. Shoot. What's wrong? <laughs> Hi, boo-boo. <laughs> our two o'clock just canceled on us. Uh-oh. Why's that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so... Gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says he'd rather clean the place herself. Says she'd rather clean. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. And there's one more we could do. No. We're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. Oh, that was the OnlyFans one. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. And that's the end of the Midnight Maids. She cleaned her own. Now less power, Kia! <laughs> I don't think either of us wants to start looking for the new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. I just, I, wow. <laughs> uh, it's just. Yep, she's a harpy. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. Wow, that is, that is. <laughs> I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. I know, I know, it's just... All right, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. The estate has been sold and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish up the job. All I need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it all off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You can put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message and let them know we're here. <clears throat> it's cosplaying, Cola! I'll start packing up in here first. Just grab a box and... and, and. Yep, 
Okay, this seems easy enough. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe retro. There we go. That's this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. That's where Naomi disappears. Okay, that's one. It's a massive approach to I know, right? What the frick? Hey! Oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homer, home, homeowner would be here. Scared me almost half to death when he showed up. Terry's terribly sorry about the fright, madame. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? It's him. It's it's the... <laughs> it's Vand. It's JD. <laughs> My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Tomorrow? I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish the job tonight, we don't get paid. <laughs> this is a conscious choice. Oh, I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man had his fair share of demons in life, and in his current state, he's only gotten worse. <laughs> and then roughly came out. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Should they begin to glow blue, then you know he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well. A family such as ours has had its share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father's long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots, so you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. And <laughs> the sleeve's gone. <laughs> I'll leave you both to get back to your work. Just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. <clears throat> Naomi, hush! We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate... It... He's left already. He sure is a strange one. And the Understatement of the Year award goes to... Alright, well, you just you just stay there, and then I'll, I'll go to the next room. Okay, so we... Does it show us which room... Okay, so we, we... The main room's done. So we're just gonna go... And we're just gonna systematically... Go in this direction. We're just gonna go in clockwise... So we'll go. We'll hit the the middle room first, and just kind of go from there. They, they fucking do. Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. One would not be able to tell it now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of uh, patricians, uh, Pat Patri have graced this room. Though I sometimes wonder if they would have visited had they known what truly went on here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, she's with me. Okay, so she just follows me. Oh, this is gonna get tedious as fuck. Okay. <laughs> they see that bosom to look at. God damn it. It's blue, it's blue, it's blue. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. Phew! Okay. Wasn't too bad. Just gotta keep an eye on the lights and we're good. I should be able to do a perfect run. 
Yeah, there's only... Oh, dear. I don't think I can carry anymore. I should take this box out to the van. Okay. Oh, can you see him in the distance? Well, that's how I'm doing all the work and Naomi's doing shit. You may have. We, we, we may have seen him. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. You both seem to be quite adept at this. The other group of mover, movers had already turned tail and ran by now. And cleaning houses is usually, our is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. This cricket's fucking. She has the light. Oh, right. She does. She has the light. You're right. She is our light. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month when we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? <clears throat> Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. Hi, Studio Blue. Steel, how you doing? It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Did you see what I have to go through? My, my. You two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph. Joseph Vermander. I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. I'm doing all right. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. Such a nice man. I think it is the same. I don't know. He looks like JD, but I don't know if it is JD, because he doesn't have... There's something about him that's a little off. Thanksgiving Food Company Retro. <laughs> It's blue, it's blue, it's blue. Move, bitch! <laughs> the dev himself. <laughs> it, it could be a self-insert. We don't know. Okay. Ugh. Has that look and feel. Uh, no, this is a not exactly a one star day, but it's it's definitely a uh, we're are just playing horror games, and this game's actually pretty good. Like this this dev is actually pretty good. It's it's uh, wow. Cola shark, thank you so much for those bits. Chi one chi one chi one chi one chi one chi one chi one. Thank you very much for those bits. I really appreciate it, Cola Shark. Thank you, thank you. You go, Nicole. <laughs> okay. She gave up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she she usually gives up after a. Uh... Yeah, you missed the demo we played. That was definitely a one star type of game. Is that it? Usually she says that that's it. Well, I, I guess. Is it out, of, out of our way if she isn't going to help. All right. Okay, there's no longer a circle there, so I guess we're done with that room. So, like I said, we're going to go clockwise, so the next one is down in this corner right here. You can hear her little taps. Oh my lord. Taps of her talons. Oh my. Oh dear, I don't think. Real, I just got. Oh 
God, Ruth. I swear to God. Casually summoning Satan. <laughs> Uh, no, Ruth is a giant cockroach. With... Oh, shit, 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 shit! With acids. <clears throat> Did I? Did you see him? See, it was nice staring up. Oh, that's what you meant. Uh, I wasn't staring. I was showing them for the sake of brevity. Oh, my Lord. There's only two candles in this room that are actually lit. Oh, Lord. I gotta be careful. I hope I can pick up this whole room and not have to come back again. <sighs> Damn it. Ritz. Steel, I swear to God, I will ban you. Ritz, no, don't make it a thing, everyone. Seriously. Ritz. Come on. I hate this so much. Please. Okay, no, now I won't ban you because that's what you want. Putting on the Ritz roach. God damn it! That's what you're gonna call to say. Drone now. <sighs> Succeeded like the crackers will be better. I went the wrong way, not this way. Nope, there's a buddy boy. Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help, Father wasn't always as accommodating. <clears throat> God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. Mmm, scary. <laughs> I just put a box inside of a box. Is that all that's in here? <clears throat> Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Okay, I think that's, I think that's all that's in here. Okay. Let's go see where we're supposed to go next. I, I agree, you should. Okay, those two rooms are done. <clears throat> next up is the one right in front of that one. Okay. Oh, it's blue, it's blue, it's blue! I'm afraid of running out of boxes, though. Oh, did I? was right. I should have dropped off the damn box. Hate it when Rich was right. <laughs> oh, 
I'm still. Oh, you're. I am holding boxes. This box isn't full. Okay, so I got. Okay. What the? It's getting rather late, which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler. I haven't had one bad word to say of the man. Getting desiccated. About one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived, and you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one night needed in an emergency. One night. One might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. However, father wasn't happy. For the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else as, as a sane person would, he sent poor Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. The father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice and snow. And now something appears every night just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. Okay. Oh, okay, I... Remind me after we're done playing and I'll do that, honey nut. I don't know why he is. Oh, I can only carry... Oh, my boxes... I can only carry so many boxes. Okay. <clears throat> they don't got... Exactly, they don't gotta have a reason. So I can't stay outside long. Okay. Well, why he after us? I know, right? We're we're with him. I think we want to go here. Oh, it's blue. It's feeling under press. <laughs> I'd love to. Wait, I'm, I'm lost now. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good now. What's he... Ooh, what? Oh, I'm like, what the fuck are you saying, Steel? Are you having a stroke? Okay, last room is in that corner, in the very far corner there, so let's go. Still final thoughts for our boobs, what a way to go. KV, oh no. Oh, okay, it's like a basement area. There's the, oh god, I can't really see the friggin' candles. What is... I have to come back. Oh my god, seriously? <sighs> Alright. Like, seriously? Like pool floaties? Oh my god. Okay, I get it. The box isn't full yet. Huh. 
Oh god, more? <clears throat> I have one final thing to tell you both. They're probably doing the most. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help. Like Cornelius, she too was an exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, where is she and what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he hadn't, that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards, where she belonged. He then went about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. So did you see the candle suddenly go out? You'll know she's in the same room as you. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. Okay, so if they go out, I gotta look at her. Oh, the crickets are gone. Yeah, Butler's the easiest to deal with, I feel. That is literally the last one, right? Shit, blue, 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 blue. Okay, we're good. Remember, <laughs> this is sad. Let's drop this off and then you already did Jesus Christ that Scared the fuck out of me. It was Agatha. We saw Agatha and she looked at us. Whew. Okay, so now we now we go we just yeah, we go straight on through. All right, are those ones okay? The get out of the way. Shit, Dad's here. So you get for shopping. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that box. Okay, that was weird. I got stuck in there. Yeah, like I walked into a room and boom, immediate Agatha. Oh, more. Great. This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The helper treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices on all of our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. This pills out of the way. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know. But then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. I get just... He broke just about every law he could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. Because... Joseph is Ghost's son. Good God! 
We, I swear to God, bird lady, get out of my fucking way. She's our light and she's just following us, but sometimes she gets in my way and it's a little annoying. So, oh no, Retro, I'm sorry. Retro, oh my god. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Get the box out of there. There's still. We're good. There she is. Okay. Yeah, if I don't look at her, she attacks and then we die. So I gotta be careful. I love how you said she can't be chubby up. She wouldn't fit. Okay, nothing else in here. Uh, no, we're Midnight Maids. And of course, one extra. Oh my god. Blue. Because the Harpy's nocturnal and the Roach is also nocturnal. Yeah, that's right. Roaches hate the light. God. <sighs> Seem blue like it's a safe word. Oh my god. Honey nut no. I've yet to see Cornelius, which is a good thing. I heard something though. He was out there. Okay, what's left? One room and then okay, yeah, we're we're almost we are almost home free. Um, it's probably quicker for me to go. Hi, Jesus Christ! Why? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's blue. I could have skid her away. Oh my god. <sighs> Everything in that room. Everything in that room. Is this last room? Yep, one box. I think that's everything. Okay, let's go. There's a room at the end of the hall here. Okay, it's like an attic. There are no candles. Oh, okay, there's candles there. Of course, there's one fucking... Oh, my God. Yes, one of the last rooms for us. Why'd I go down the long hallway? Why'd I go down the long hallway? Why'd I go down the long hallway? Oh my god. That was a mistake. Ah! Jesus Christ! Where is she? Where is she? Get in, get in, get in! He's out there. <sighs> yes. What do, what do you want me to know? 
I didn't. I, I didn't, but I did. Oh, blue. Move! Oh my god. Okay, I gotta go to the attic. There's only there's only four rooms left. There's a safe room in there. Okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. Okay, yeah, it's actually, yeah. Okay, we're still good. That was the only thing in here to grab. Okay, that box is full. Okay. So we're good there. Okay. Where is she? Hi. Okay, she no longer scares me now that I know what to look out for. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Nice. Nope. Not today, Cornelius. Not fucking today. Okay, so we have the attic is done, so go to the side room and then to the. Okay, so we'll get those two rooms first the bathroom and then whatever room is down there. Whew, okay, we can do this. <laughs> Retro, god damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That was, that was pretty damn good though. I hope you clipped that. Oh, you did? Nice. Where, where is she? She's right there! I do believe that's everything. Lady, thank you. Oh, blue, shit. I'm trying to clip the skitter. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so that's what daddy looks like. Good lord. This room is done. Oh my god, there's so much in here. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Okay. Boxes to the van. Let's go. Oh, Pausing, you're going fuck. Freaks me out when she comes up when you're like you're not expecting it. Okay, we're still okay. Still good, still good. Safe room is in that back corner. Oh, that that light was a, a dummy light. Oh my god. It was a red herring. If I would have been paying attention to just that light alone, I probably would have died. Blue. Blue! 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 Ugh. 
So don't expect it. Should have done this friggin' room first. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, retro. <sighs> okay, take him back. Let's go. So when she gets in the way, that is the most annoying. Probably freak too. <laughs> I can carry a couple of. Are you serious? I could have carried more than one. Uh, well, I'm not grabbing any more box boxes, so. Jesus. D I missed that! I've been playing hard mode for no reason at all. She is just going to get in my way. Okay, cool. Where is she? Shh, there. And blue at the same time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think she's just there to fuck with you, honestly. You see how she's getting in the way? I think that's their purpose, too. I think she's there as a detriment. A slight detriment. Okay, that should be everything in this room. We should be good now. She wants you to die. Staples. Now it's just this room and we should be good. Yeah, we're done. We did it. Perfect run right off the bat. Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully. No offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm going to miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer. For our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. I'd expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, Father? No. I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying to my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here in, in trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. It sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha? You... you still remember me? Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf! I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Why she look like that? Exactly! Because she's the throat goat. <laughs> you just have to be very careful. <laughs> now come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Want to bet, old man? This is your fault. 
If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're going to pay for that. <gasps> Cornelius! Ah, oh, there you are, sir. Here's that newspaper you wanted. Asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. What, what is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. Ah! Cold Neelius. <laughs> Righto. Now that that's finally sorted, I better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. <laughs> this dev has such a unique fetish, but he makes highly entertaining games. Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. I will never be a furry. <laughs> that was an ending. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got the job done. Perfect run, very first try. Mm, proud of myself. <laughs> blue, blue, blue! <laughs> mm. Nice. I do want to see what happens when we, um... Like, like, I want to see the different dies, you know, the different deaths. Oh, I can have boxes. Yeah, we would have been done. Honestly, we would have been done faster if I would have grabbed four fucking boxes at, at the first, you know? Oh, well. I forgot it was a fucking roach. <laughs> Pretty sure that's valid. Roach gameplay is rare. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Okay, so so I just gotta go in a room and wait for Dad to show up. I didn't grab another box, so I mean, not that it really matters. This is a death run, baby. Although I could play it safe until we unlock all three ghosts, then I could just go and, like, you know. Vermander had a chubby face in the Vermander curse, but that was it. And, like, all the rat guys, like, yeah. And, like, the, the rat nurse and all that. Yeah, they, they have not been... Okay, I'm... Just, I, like, what happens if we just wait? Was it first? You actually get a, a fair amount of time to... No, because um, on itch, the, the, the rank... Okay, yeah, you get a fair bit of time before you have to hide. <gasps> Naomi! Oh, he goes for the roach. Faced with no other acceptable alternatives, the Midnight Maids ventured into a place brimming with bad omens. And though this is nothing new for the duo, one's luck can only be tested so many times before the worst eventually happens. The estate and its dark, unresolved secrets proved to finally be too much. 
A mansion with a closet already full of skeletons now added two more into its grim history. Six restless spirits now reside therein. I assume it's just, like we just die either way, so I don't think there's going to be a special ending. But hey, we did it. We beat the game. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm honest to God proud of myself. <laughs> I did it perfect the very first time. Hell yes. Uh -huh.